Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Cantabrian Crusades in Crusader Kings 2. So, um, he either did kill one retinue or our retinue cap just increased. I'm not sure which it is. I'm thinking it just increased. Because we have room for one more Caballero. Cabal. What is that? Caballero. Caballero. Fairly certain. Could be. So we have room for a little bit, and our army is dying over here with no leaders, so we're just going to retreat, I think. Probably end up disbanding. So that our retinue, sorry, our vassal levy can replenish, unless of course he catches us. He's going to be there, like, really fast. In fact, part of the army is going to be there before ours. So we can disband that one, let's just disband this one now as well. And we will rally to here, and we'll grab our boats over to here, and uh, we'll give our vassals a few months' reprieve. As soon as the boats land, we're going to disband those, because they're again all vassal uh, army. Having to use my own damn troops. I mean, what gives? Okay, so we disband these guys. Realm levies go away. We'll let that recover. Through the boats. Now, using my own personal army here. What is this guy? Oh, that's the Pagyar. Anonia. I like the color of your flag, man. Looks cool. Okay, I take that side. Organizer guys in the center. I'd say it's probably about that time that we need to go through and appoint some new commanders. Because I feel like we don't have enough. My son? Sure, by all means. He's excellent at leading the center, evidently. He's an inspiring leader. That's that's the I'm used to that being the ins the uh, leading the center indicator, but it's different now. So we have our ticking war score. No, we don't. Yes, we do. We do have the ticking war score. We just need to win the next battle. This is mountains. Being the defender would be preferable. Alright, I think what we do is we just try to catch one of these armies out. Preferably this one in the plains. Again, this is my own personal army, so I gotta be a little bit more cautious with this one. If I lose this, suddenly factions could potentially become a major issue. It's been years and years since we've actually had to use our own personal levy. So we don't want to allow that to happen. Um, what else could we do? I mean, the Vassal Levy's already grown back at a couple thousand. Just a month or two. I mean, it recovers very quickly. Um, I didn't put the retinue in one specific flank. So we're probably not going to do nearly as much damage as before. Center flank's doing pretty well. Um, that one's not doing so hot. We're holding our own, but could be better. Oh, right. Prisoners. I forgot about them. Um, yeah, we'll ransom some of them. Just the one, evidently. Alright, we're doing just fine. Another son, Rodrigo. He is like, what, the 14th son we've made so far? It's a lot of kids. What's this all about? Papacy is sieging down my vassal. Hmm. My son-in-law, the organizer. Who, you only, no. You are not. You are going to lead troops forever. Forever and ever and ever. And ever. Alright, Vassalovia back up to 7,000. Soon, The sooner we can get rid of these troops, the better, because um, we're spending horrendous amounts of money to maintain them. In addition to... Uh, well, the weaker this, this personal troop gets, the worse off we're going to be. One tech advantage over them. And that, see, that's exactly it right there. The dangerous factions. The fact that I am using my own troops is what's causing the issue. 
King Diego, you have 100 opinion of me, which means the only way you could possibly be in this thing is if you were coerced by another faction member, which is most likely the Grand Mayor, which is ironic because I made you the Grand Mayor. You are a little bastard is what you are, so you're going to die is what's going to happen. Now, there's really no good way to engage this hill's fight. Um, I could pull on some extra troops at this point. I think we will. Let's bring in what we can from those guys. Let's wait until the beginning of next month. I believe it's going to get a little bit bigger. Pretty sure. No, it didn't. Uh, when did the damn ticks happen in this game? I'm so used to EO4 where, you know, at the beginning of the month is is the most important part. Okay, apparently a tick happened. Because the armies are, the numbers are bigger now. By a little tiny bit. Yeah, are you going to murder that guy? Stupid patrician. Uh, yeah, okay. My role is unknown. Byzantine Emperor, man. Presenting us with a challenge. It's quite nice. Now, we're 54. If we die right now, we end up playing as Prince Frola, the inspiring leader, 19 Marshal, kind of okay man. Is there a better heir available? Can we not change the, the succession law in Italy? I don't really care about Italy, do I? Is there no one better? Oh, man, you would be awesome, Blanca. If only you were a, a man. Oh, <laughs> it's who I, didn't, I didn't even realize Julian was uh, was my uh, my wife's matrilineal husband. I completely forgot about him. And you guys have made Martin. And nothing special so far. Hmm. Tis a shame. I I possibly could have gone down that direction. Right, let's go do some damage here. All right, we're gonna do that thing again where we. Uh, Arts new to one side. I feel like there should be an easier way to do this, by the way. Like, more customization of army composition, saved compositions or something. Could be pretty sweet. And of course, this is going to be me. That's going to be Julian. And, uh, Freda, you know, you are an inspiring leader. Morale, defense, and damage. Is that better than flanker? Flanking plus 20%. Flanking, I mean, it's good, but it's a, it's like a win more thing. Like you have to actually have already flanked, like routed your 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 enemy to be able to do the flanking. Um, unless I'm mistaken, I can't recall. It used to be that leading the center was all the time, and flanking was if they weren't in the center. Let's let's let Hans lead it this time, and let's just make sure that he's not getting a flanking bonus all the time just because he's not in the center flank. I can't recall, and I want to test that for a moment. All right, so for your modifiers. Oh, that's right, of course, uh, when they change, I forgot completely, they changed it, so now you can't actually see any useful information whatsoever about whether he's applying his, his flanking bonus. Yeah. I don't know, I, I can't, I, I don't know. I have to assume that, I don't know. What makes sense to me would be that you have to route your flank before you get the flanker bonus. You have to actually be actively flanking someone else to get that bonus. That's what logically makes sense. So maybe it works that way. Maybe not. I, I don't know. Alright, cool. There goes the faction. So hopefully we don't have any more issues. Um, the Independence faction should just quit right away because he's at 100 opinion. I believe. Alright, we're going to come back to our own land and we're going to disband our personal levy now. We've lost about three, 4,000 troops. And we don't want you to lose any more. Uh, the rest of this levy as well, we're going to stand down for the moment. We can now raise 15k again. Apparently, my retinue is, is very, very depleted right now. We're at 676 out of 2,800 light cav. 
So we're going to be paying a fair bit to, to reinforce that thing. We got full reinforcement on, right? Huh. My son has become a brilliant strategist and an aggressive leader. He's very good at pursuit and damage. And he's got enough marshal to offset the defense penalty, so there is no defense penalty. Um, in fact, he actually has a defense bonus because he's patient. Damn, Prince Aurelio of Hispania. Um, heir to Italy. Alright, you know what? You are, you are the one. I'm sorry, Prince Froila. I mean, you looked good right up until the moment that Prince Aurelio came of age. So, and, and, and as well, he's strong, which we love, as we all know. Um, is there anyone who is a genius? A 12-year-old genius who is actually um, of some value. Sure. Let's go for her. We didn't use the Find Characters interface, so that means that she's actually kind of like landed. She's like, you know, her dynasty is a little bit important. So that's nice. Although Aurelio here, our boy, he'll have to deal with the fact that he doesn't get a woman for four years. I'm sure he'll find someone. Our dynasty is, is quite good at finding women. Geniuses. People that, uh, you know, really we, we shouldn't. Alfonso, you're a, dude, you're just a, you're just a bastard. I, I did mention a church career. And we have our new heir. He doesn't want to become Marshal yet. However, Hulian wants to be. So we'll let him do it. Um, we're going to make him keep on leading troops for now, though. At least we just increased his Marshal score by a little bit. Um, and he likes us well enough. Actually, we'll probably fire him now. And make Froila do it. And have him train troops or something. Because I don't want to lead. I don't, I'm not going to use Froila. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Aurelio does want to become Marshal. Okay, your turn. Now he has 22. Now Froila has 20. 20? Hello, 20. Hello? There we go, there's 20. Uh, yeah, let's research military tech in a province where we have crappy military tech. Capital looks good. 866. Six. Preferably one that borders a lot of provinces. 1, 2, 3, that's, that's decent enough, sure. A little research military tech in Cadiz. It does add up in the long run. So having a few issues with the factions because we had depleted the levy, although it's going to come back fairly quickly. I barely, barely depleted it. And it looks like if we wanted to, we could just raise up an army and go fight. Fight that thing again. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll use the vassal levy again. We'll head to there. We'll raise up the fleet. Head the fleet over to there. Is that the same province? Of course not. And then we'll gather um, you guys all up to about there. One more big battle. Actually, at this point, ten more war score. Maybe I should just not even worry about it. Nah, nah we'll go fight him one more time for good measure. I'm going to speed the game up, though. You know what? Actually, ticking war score is so freaking fast in CK2, I do think we're just going to not do it. It's going to take us six months to get there. Oh, never mind. He's actually sieging stuff back, which is going to cause it to take longer. Okay, fine. We're, we're going to go fight him. We'll fight him then in that case. Sure, why not? I can't believe my vassal is losing his war against the Pope. Is just disrespectful of that Pope man. And honestly, despite the uh, the sieges, we're actually ticking very quickly. Watch, it'll all end up being for naught. There's like no purpose to it whatsoever. How many troops are you landing? 56 galleys. There's probably a sizable army there. And uh, unlike CK2, or sorry, EU4, I can't tell which province he's landing them in. 
There they are. Alright, cool. Organizer man. You, did you stop becoming my, you're not one of my commanders right now, is that the problem? Yeah, Julian, you're back. Come on. Aurelio, you need to get more, one more combat modifier. And Hans, of course you are, guy. I'll take that one. Julian. Julian picked up Organizer. No, he's had it. Never mind. But, um, our heir? Oh, he's sick right now. Damn. Don't get sick, dude. Don't you die on me. Olderic has declared the second Olderic's host claim on the Byzantine Emperor. Alright, this time it's gonna go better. We're gonna help him out. No, wait, we have a truce. Crap. It's not gonna work. We're already at war. Oh man, we are losing again! Our son! No! No, he lost! Ah, oh, damn it. Um, retreat to the where the boats are. He docked. He docked just barely enough troops in time to uh, to turn the numbers. Once again, I'm gonna have to raise up my own troops. But hopefully, the um, the uh, Byzantine Emperor will be weak enough after all this that our host can do quite well. Alright, Aurelio, I already made you marshal once, so I'm gonna say no. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to do it yet again. One final last hurrah shurrah. We have one child who likes a guardian. Educate child. Uh, let's do... It's an actual daughter, so... Get some opinion from it. I hate that the G key that, that you use all the freaking time to combine armies is also stupidly bound to the uh, family, the trade zones map mode. I think it's stupid. You want to you want to duel my son? No. Uh oh. No, not again. Alright. No! Damn it! Julian, you are in the center, you are over here, and freaking Aurelio's over there. Why can you guys not understand this? Let's find out if I'm really the son or not. Uh, actually, at that point, if you get that event, I, I'm 90% sure that that means that it's definitely not your kid. Prince Froila of Leon! I really shouldn't be surprised. He is of our dynasty after all. <sighs> Count Froila the Lude. Um. This is high treason after all. It is. We have to, we can't say, we can't just hide. We have to talk about it. Everyone needs to know the truth. Alright, this time we're back, and we're doing four and a half thousand damage, okay? Just go to hell, you bastard. 4.6 military technology points, good. And we just lost 2,000 troops to attrition, sweet. And the beginning of next month, 100%, okay, finally. That was unnecessarily complicated, wasn't it? Alright, the Duchy of Aragon is de jour part of the Sultanate of Andalusia, which uh, we don't control. Um, these two provinces, uh, we have a dynasty member who controls one. She is beneath the King of Leon and Galicia. Let's pull her out from underneath him by making her into a duke. Making her our direct vassal instead. 
weakening uh, this guy just slightly, which is good. And also empowering our dynasty, which is nice. A strong twin here, Freula Freules. Let's make sure he's educated by a good guy. We'll do it ourselves. Any strong children of our dynasty need to be well led. Okay, um, let's see. So I know you're fighting, you're defending right now against uh, our dynasty, which is it's nice seeing our flag is, is the thing there. Hey, cousin. Can I join your war? Excellent, I still can, despite the truce. Really? Yeah, sweet, I can. No issue with the truce at all. Cool. Alright, this time, dude, um, wherever your army is, like, don't let it die, please? 6,000 troops? Alright, we're just gonna go join that army. But first, uh, I'm gonna take a short break here. And in the meantime, I'm going to, uh, you know, keep trying to, trying to schmooze the Pope. Nope, he hates us. Okay. Truce until 21. Hey, that's now. Cool, alright. We're gonna go with the anti-Pope route, but we're gonna do that in the next one. So, thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.